It's project time at DadTech. My son bought himself a Black Widow Chroma keyboard and as you can see it's multicoloured and looks very nice in the dark and we can see an opportunity to enhance the effect with some colour changing LED strips. We thought it would be nice to put some LED strips around the table and inside the computer case to add a bit of bling to the games room. To make things simple I bought a colour changing LED strip kit which includes the waterproof LED strips, power transformer, RGB control box and remote control. You don't need to be an electrician to complete this project but if you're going to be cutting the LED strips you'll need a soldering iron and some appropriately rated wire to connect the strips together. The kit comes with 5 meters of LEDs which is just enough to do what we want after a few cuts but you should make sure you measure up before ordering. Firstly, lay out the LED strips in position and make a note of the end point. And cut the LED strip at the nearest cut point before the required length. Cut it nice and centrally through the cut point to give yourself enough on each side to solder to. The non-waterproof LED strips can be soldered to directly but the shower and waterproof strips have a rubber coating on them. This will need to be removed to expose the solder joints. Just cut through the rubber with a sharp knife, taking care not to cut through the strip and scrape all of the rubber away. Now we need to tin the ends to help solder. Trim away a small amount of the backing strip and stick the LED strip to a top. Then coat each point with solder. A single colour strip will have two points and a multicolour strip will have four points. Do the same to your wire. Again, this will need two cores for a single colour and four cores for multicoloured. I've used some alarm cable here as it meets the rating. Carefully solder the wires to the solder points ensuring a good connection. When all the soldering has been done, lay the LED strip in place. Peel off the backing and press firmly into place. Make sure you don't put too much strain on the soldered wires. Plug the power pack in. You'll need a socket that's close to the end of the LED strip. Carefully plug the control box into the connector end of the LED strip. Then plug the power lead into the control box. The LED should light up all the way down the strip. I've put a sticky pad on the control box so that I can stick it out of the way. Make sure the receiver lead is visible as the remote works by line of sight. We use the remainder of the LEDs to create a modded effect in the computer. Let's switch the lights on and have a look at the effect. There are a number of patterns available. Pressing flash makes the LED flash on and off with a gap in between each transition. Pressing auto does the same, but without a gap in between each colour transition. Pressing fade gives a smooth transition between each colour, which can be sped up and slowed down. There are a number of preset colours to choose from, and you can alter the brightness from the remote.
you don't have to use multicolored LEDs. Here is my TV cabinet and TV backing board and I've added some cool white LEDs that can be operated by remote control and give an atmospheric low light alternative to the main light.